2D views are always printed to scale, and the scale is a property of each 2D view. Before you print, set the scale. If you want, create a new layer for some drawing elements, like a sheet frame, a title block, a header, etc. Using a separate layer for these elements allows an easier handling if you continue with your project. Our 2D symbol catalog contains ready-to-use drawing elements you can add via drag and drop to your 2D layout. Let's start with a sheet frame. Because the drawing is printed to scale the first thing you have to find out is, which paper format is required. As an example we start with A3 and as you can see this format is too small for your printed plan. There are frames in various formats and for 1 to 50 or 1 to 100 scale. If necessary you can easily add your own frames to the catalog. Add a text. You can type your own text in or use one of our auto text variables. In this example the name of the view. As the name of the 2D view is ground floor, the auto text variable automatically fills itself with this value. An architectural drawing needs a title block. We have a set of predefined examples but more than likely you will prefer your own design and content. In our video about 2D symbols we explain how easy it is to create your own title block. Two D symbols can also contain auto text variables. The values for owner, planner etc. come from the project properties dialog. Scale or name come from your view properties. We start the printing process. Open the printer settings dialog and select the paper orientation the printing resolution and paper format. The printer settings dialog comes from your printer driver and will most likely look different but all required settings should be available. Although we know that A2 is required we start with A4, just to demonstrate the behavior. Click on Print 2D view. You see a rectangular cursor preview. This is the A4 paper size and the reason why it appears is that the visible content of your 2D view is too big to be printed on A4. You can skip the cursor with escape. Now the software scales everything down in order to draw everything on A4. As a consequence the scale is then lost and undefined, what is not intended in most cases. Set the paper format to A2 and start printing again. As you can see there is no cursor preview because the paper size is big enough for the drawing content. You might have noticed that the printer we are using in this example is a so-called PDF printer. And as a result we will not get a printed paper out of a hardware device but a PDF file instead. Printing in a PDF file has advantages. You can print in any paper format your PDF printer supports even if your hardware device is unable to print A2. You can open the resulting PDF file in your PDF software and print it on A4 anyway. You can also send the PDF file via email or copy it on a memory stick and take it to a place where you have access to a hardware with the ability to print in your required paper format. 